So if you can hear like something in the background, it's probably my neighbor mowing their lawn or whatever they're doing. But um, yeah, I just wanna go ahead and film this. So today's my first day of college and you're probably wondering why I'm in my room right now. And I'll get to that. <laughs> or you've read the title and you know what I'm about to say, but. Two weeks ago, I moved into my sorority house at Zeta Tau Alpha at Oklahoma State University. And um, I had work week, we did recruitment, and it was really fun. That Friday, we were supposed to get up at 5 a.m. and get ready for our last like recruitment day, which was uh, prep day, if you know what that is. I didn't set an alarm, so I just woke up around like, seven or eight and my roommate was like, hey, actually we're gonna meet at like 12, which is really nice because I did not set an alarm. So I got really lucky. So that day I was supposed to get my first dose of the um, COVID-19 vaccine. So I was like, okay, well, you know, I don't have to be ready and downstairs until 12. It's seven now. I'm just gonna wait an hour and then go get my first dose of the vaccine now. So I got ready and then I left to go do that and got my first dose and then I came back to my room and my roommate wasn't in there but she called me and she was like kind of beating around the bush and it was kind of like hey um so I just wanted to let you know um I was feeling bad and like I knew what she was gonna tell me because we had to deal with all this stuff last year and like I knew what the conversation was gonna be about so I just interrupted her I was like did you go get a COVID test and are you positive and she said yes and it was weird because I'm almost used to it by now. Last year I had to quarantine twice. I got COVID last November during Thanksgiving. Uh, I just had the feeling that this year, it wouldn't be like the last time I was gonna quarantine. I knew I was gonna quarantine this year basically. What was just disappointing <laughs> was um, the day after that was bid day. If you don't know, it's like a big thing in sororities where um, the new class of freshmen find out that day what sorority they're in and then they run to it and meet all the new girls. and. Our theme was like groovy and 70s and like I was so excited for it. I ah, I love 70s and I didn't have bid day last oh okay, you know, I, I had bid day last year, but it wasn't the same. Um last year was like masked bid day, socially distanced bid day. And you know, people are still masking this year, which is great. But this was supposed to be like the first normal bid day and I'm not even gonna be there now. So that was disappointing. And no matter if I tested negative or not, I had to quarantine for like a week at least. So sitting there, like on the phone with her, I realized that like, I'm gonna miss bid day, which I was so excited for. And we've been getting ready all week for, and I love the theme. <laughs> and I was excited to meet these new girls, but also that I was gonna miss my first week of college which again, like very disappointing. But, you know, I told her, I was like, you know what? I'm not mad at you. I'm upset with those circumstances and um, what I have to do now, but I'm not mad at you. I mean, this can happen to anyone, you know? She's fully vaccinated too. So like people that are fully vaccinated and masking can still get COVID and you can do your part, but ultimately it can happen to anyone. So no one wants to quarantine. And um, I'm, I know a lot of people don't wanna wear their masks anymore, but I just keep telling myself like, this is my situation. And if I can't do anything about it, then like, I don't wanna get upset about it. You know what I mean? Like, of course I'm gonna have my raw emotions. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'll, I'm still gonna be like, oh, this sucks. But I have the mindset of, I can't do anything. I can't change my situation. I can't convince anyone to look, like bring me back. Um, this is just what I have to do and I have to get through it. And that's how it is. I'm just making do. Anyways, I, I packed everything uh, that I just needed, you know, some clothes for the week, makeup, and all of my school stuff, and just drove home. And when I got home, I found a Walmart, actually, drive through pharmacy, and got a COVID test Friday. So, it's Monday now, it's been three days, and I have not heard back from them. And they said I would get the response within 24 to 48 hours. So that's been very frustrating. I don't want this whole video to be like sad and disappointing because it's not. Um, but I told myself um, I wanted to make a video of my first week of college and I had a different idea of what that was gonna be, you know. Um, now I'm just gonna be at home, but I, I still wanted to make a video of like my first week at college. And uh, I just wanna say like, this is why I'm at home. This is what happened, but that's life. And um, I'm just gonna be here to document it, so. Since I've been home, um, I feel like I've had a good time so far. <laughs> like, 
Um, I feel like I've been doing a lot of good self-care kind of stuff. Like, you know, when I take a shower, I take a long time and just relax. And then I took a bath yesterday and put like all these salts in it and just soaked and <laughs> watched YouTube videos. I was taking a bath. And, um, oh my God, I watched Twilight. Like, I watched all five Twilight movies in two days. Um, and they're actually like pretty good. Um, okay, I think Kristen Stewart is kind of a bad actor. Like, there's moments where like, she fits the character, right? But then there's moments where she's like, I don't know, it's just bad, I think. I, I, I don't know. I wanna say she's like a good fit for the role. But then sometimes she just has, she has these moments where they're just so goofy and weird and it just kind of throws the mood off of the movie and I don't know. But as a whole, I really liked the movies. Like they get better. Also played a lot of piano and uh, I found an old Pokemon game uh, that I've been playing on my DS. Oh, I also watched Hamilton. Oh, and then I did a self tanner, which I've never been like a self tan kind of person until like last year, cause I was in a show and everyone was doing self tans and they're like, okay, you should go get one. I was like, okay, I'll try it. I've never done that before. Yeah, so um, I just did that cause I had nothing else to do. <laughs> but today, um, yeah, today's my first day of college, uh, which is really weird to say, cause again, I'm at home, but I think this week will be really good for me because I won't have any social distractions. And as much as I love people and I am such a social person, like I, love being around people constantly. Uh, this week is gonna be really good for me because now I just get to sit down, focus on my class, get my work done, get ahead, and then by next week, like, I should be doing pretty solid this week, you know? Today, um, on Mondays, my first class is dance, which is at 2.30, which is so nice because I get to sleep in on Mondays. And then um, I have graphic design at 6.45 p.m., so. That's my only late class in the week. I absolutely love my classes this semester. Um, like I said, Monday, um, dance at 2.30, then history of graphic design at 6.45, and usually I would have chapter at 6.30 on Mondays for my sorority, but I will be missing that this semester. Tuesdays, typography from nine to something. I don't know, starts at nine. And then I have Survey of American History. And then Wednesdays it repeats, so dance and history graphic design. Uh, Thursday repeats, typography, Survey of American History. But on that day as well, I have um, a Hamilton Honors add-on course, which is just one hour a week. And I get to talk about Hamilton. But I'm really excited for my classes this semester. Um, it's all like art and history and then dancing. So I'm so excited. Um, I think this is probably like one of my favorite semesters uh, just for classes because I don't have a class that I don't like. Well, yeah, I think this will be like an interesting video for me to look back on and be like, yeah, I had to do that. <laughs> Looking at this with a positive outlook, you know, this is my situation and it does kind of suck, but that's okay. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll let you know how my classes go in a second. <laughs> So it's 7.45, which means I'm done with all my classes today. Um, I guess that pretty much completes my first day as a sophomore, I don't know. <laughs> first day of classes as a sophomore in college, I don't know. I'm so excited for classes to be in person again because although sometimes like online classes can be nice, it's so much better to be there in person and not be distracted by like things sitting around you. But anyways, it was a good day. Um, in my dance class, we just watched um, some dance videos and like talked about it, but I was like the one person on Zoom, so I couldn't really hear everyone. I was kind of like, okay, just sitting there taking it in. And then same thing with my um, history of graphic design class. I was the only person on Zoom. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, in that class we just went over um, the syllabus and that's pretty much it. I didn't do much today, like other than just going to my classes, I just watched TV and played video games and just relaxed and, uh, well, you know what? I did clean out the art room upstairs cause we were about to move. So I, I did do some cleaning. I did something today, but yeah, I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. <laughs> Not much happens in quarantine. <laughs>
so it's Wednesday morning and um, I just went to go get my COVID test and I'm negative. So I was negative um, Friday, I'm negative again today. So I should be able to go back Friday, um, which is in two days. So um, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, so pretty much all I have to do is like go to class today, go to class tomorrow. And then Friday I get to pack up and leave. I mean, not that like being home hasn't been like really fun. Like I loved being home. I love seeing my parents. I've had a great like mental health break kind of week, but I'm so excited to be back and be in person and be with my friends. I'm so, I'm so happy. Oh my God. So it's later in the day now and I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> um, I feel like I've gotten a lot done today, which is great. Um, and then I went to my dance class, which was, uh, I didn't do anything, um, except like watch everyone else dance. It was hard to hear them. And like, it was kind of laggy and fuzzy. I watched that for an hour and that just goes to show that like some classes are really hard to do online. I also told myself I might make a smoothie. I don't know if, yeah, I'm gonna go make a smoothie. Okay, I lied. Um, I went for a drive <laughs> and I blasted my music because I love blasting my music in the car. And I was just like jamming out. Um, and I don't know if anyone else does this when they sing. I'm sure a lot of people do. But um, I imagine that like I'm the lead singer at a concert and I'm like working the crowd because I'm just such an amazing lead singer and um, I'm so amazing at singing. But in reality, I'm not a good singer. <laughs> I've been singing a lot and I'm like kind of getting better, but I'm definitely not a solo voice. But if I was a lead singer and if I was like amazing at singing, I would be freaking amazing because I know how to work a crowd. The small life in the big city, the big life. Oh no, you've never been there. <laughs> Clear as day. I bet you you can see it too. Your eyes. You made a city out of clay. So I just had a jam sesh. <laughs> um, just dancing in Newsies and singing Newsies. I watched half of it and then my history of graphic design class started. So went to that virtually. I just wanted to be Friday already. <laughs> I also have a Hamilton course tomorrow, which is once a week. It's only on Thursdays because it's an app honors add on course. And it's just literally just all about Hamilton. Like the musical and his life. Like it's just amazing. And I'm really excited for it. Okay, so it's Friday now and I did not film like anything yesterday except like a couple of clips of maybe some stuff that I was doing that day. But um, yeah, today's Friday, which means um, I get to go back today. And I realized that this video may be like, kind of like chaotic, which is, I know sometimes when people like film at home, they'll film like every single thing that they're doing that day. I mean, really the only thing that I really did this week was watch movies and YouTube videos, play video games, and study. It wasn't anything super like fun and exciting that I could videotape, but that's just what I did. And um, I know I got a little bit of my week, but I just, I still wanted to have like my first week at college, but it's just at home. So maybe I'll do one next week about um, what my classes are like in person, but it's Friday morning and I'm finally able to go back today. So I already packed my car up. My sister's visiting. I think she's walking up right now. So. I'm gonna go say hi to her um, and put it, oh, that was her. And really just um, get everything together and then leave. I can go back to Stillwater. So this is my sister <laughs> and she got me to play. <laughs> okay, so I put my camera up there when I was stopped, so do not worry. But I just wanted to um, talk about what I did. I just wanna like, uh, something cool that I did this morning. So I was leaving my neighborhood and it's like a small little country road when you leave my neighborhood. Um, it's really pretty, but anyways, I saw this like turtle crossing the road. Like he was like kind of booking it, but um, there was like some cars behind me and I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop. So I put my hazards on and I stopped my car and I, you know, I looked both ways, but I got out and um, I grabbed this sweatshirt that you know, I'm bringing it back with me that was just laying on top of a bag. Grab that and kind of like, cause I didn't want to like grab the turtle just with my hands. 
so I like kind of wrapped it around my hands and then cranked the turtle up and moved him out of the way. And I ran back to my car and I like waved to the other car. I was like, sorry, I made you stop, but turtles come first. And then I like kept driving and everything. And like the lady behind me was like an old lady and she was smiling. So I feel like she liked me for doing that. But anyways, hot girls save turtles. If you're in, ever in that situation, you should um, help an animal out. Cause I've done that a couple times before and it just like, I don't know, it just makes me feel good. And I, I know some people are like, oh, someone might hit it later on and kill it. Like, yeah, literally I could have moved the turtle and then the turtle's gonna get back on the road again and die. But like, I don't know, maybe not. So, um, mm, just made me feel better. And I, I feel like other people should do it. Anyways, that's my little spiel. And I filled up um, my gas and literally someone almost hit me. Like when I was going into the, the gas station, I'm very careful because I know how crazy these people can be and um, someone pulled out really fast and literally almost hit me like they just didn't look behind them that's what happened and I honked my horn really loud and thankfully they stopped but like I didn't even rush in there fast or anything they're literally just about to hit me because they didn't look anyways tank is full oh there's a jeep it's called the jeep wave so I got an hour and a half to go and then I'll just unpack and then I think I'm gonna walk my classes today because I haven't, like, walked my classes yet. <laughs> um, so I think I'll do that when I get there. I'm back, finally. Whoa. <sighs> it's so hot outside. <sighs> yeah, so... When I got here, um, I was actually gonna park in my friend's parking spot, but then another girl was in it and wouldn't move for like another hour. So I just asked my guy friends to help me move my stuff from my car, which is in back lot, which is all the way in the back to my house. <laughs> so they helped me move stuff from the car to the house and they couldn't come upstairs cause like guys aren't allowed upstairs. So I just like heaved all of them. <laughs> So I just like heaved all of this stuff upstairs. But, um, and then I gave them like a little tour of the house, like just the first floor in the basement. Now I'm back and I'm gonna unpack and maybe walk my classes in a minute. I don't know, it's kind of hot. I might just do that later. So I guess I'm pretty much moved in now, but um, I think I left my tripod at home. No. Okay, but anyways, I moved in now, and then at five, we have a chapter retreat, which last year, it was like we went to this hotel, and it was just like for one, you know, evening, and we painted and like hung out with our PC, pledge class, that kind of thing, and I guess that's what we're gonna do again um, tonight, but it's gonna be like my PC and the freshmen, and maybe everyone else, I, I don't know, that'll be really fun, so that's at five, and until then, I think I'm gonna edit this video and try to get stuff done. Yeah, it's it's nice to be back. Okay, so I just wanted to add this last part because um, after recruitment, um, you know, I was gone for a week, but the house actually, like, we got all of our tables back. Like, there's like, okay, that couch, kind of nasty. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine, but I just don't like the color. But anyways, we got like tables back, which we didn't have before. Like, we didn't have last year. There's tables upstairs, so. I think I definitely like at some point I want to do like an unofficial house tour because of course like I can't have an official tour but I can just kind of like make my own little tour of the house. I think that would be really fun since everything has changed um, from last year. So yeah, I'm in the basement right now but I'll probably make a house tour soon. But today I have a straw date. So that's basically just to get to know um, a girl from the PC Undermine. So I'm in PC 20. So it's a, like a date to get to know um, PC21, just the new freshman pretty much since I'm a sophomore now. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna like make another video. I might make one next week. I don't know. <laughs> I still have to edit this one, but um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I just wanted to make a video of this week. Um, I know it hasn't been the most exciting video to watch. Um, I didn't do a lot, but it's just kind of to show like, but hey, this did happen in my life. So anyways, 
Um, next time something interesting happens, like maybe when we start doing Homecoming or Big Little, I will do another video, but, but thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.